And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. The day was giving me a shoulder so cold, I was getting frostbite. Just confirm something for me. Are they ordering pizzas via express delivery up there? Welcome back, everyone. E.T. Cloud Punk. And I'm confused because I could have swore I already ate food. Does the energy bar not count as food anymore? I also didn't turn in that human hand yet. I'm just going to hold on to it for a little while longer. Who's Don V? Hold on. Food first, then Don V. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? Food. Sushi starter. Large sushi plate. How hungry am I? Oh, sorry, that was the UI thing again. Nice. Item consumed. Thanks for this. Y'all come back. You here? I will. She didn't ask him about where the fish meat came from. Notice that? Apparently cherries are a big faux pas and dangerous, but Can fish I ask meat is about good. Food again? Go ahead, oh, Camus. How was it? Good. Surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is. But it tastes so good. It is junk? Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. No way those are real cherries though. You sound happy. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone too, if you don't like to go outside, because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Not quite, but those glute bars are so good, I bet even Mom would have liked them. Hmm. But Don V, what do you have to say about glute bars? Hey, hi, he hello there. I saw you earlier delivering parcels. Are you Cloudpunk? No, sorry, I have to go. Wait, don't be like that. Listen, I know you're Cloudpunk. I, I just want to ask something. And who are you? Don V. I work for the Inquirer. A reporter. Oh, no way, Mr. V. Not Mr. I hate when people do that. Just call me Don. Shit, me too. Sorry, Don. Look, you don't need to talk to me, but I'm investigating corp corruption. You're from the East, right? No one from out that way loves the corpse. What do you need to know? You delivered to the Spire, right? That's your question? Just confirm something for me. Are they ordering pizzas via express delivery up there? The CEO of Entex says that all corps are on a spending freeze till the end of the day, in sympathy for the famine in District 6. Will I get in trouble for saying anything to you? Probably, and so will I. You ever meet an investigative reporter in Nivalis before? Nope. That's because they're all at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> so... So you volunteered yes, to do the job. Pizza. I knew it. Here, take this. I tip all my sources. Makes them less likely to sell me out to Corpsec. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Can I quote you? I didn't tell him my name, so I guess I'm in the clear for now. I didn't know just talking to him would have a consequence, though. For a second there, somehow I managed to walk backwards just as fast as I can walk forward. Where'd the music go? Why am I hearing crazy wind? I just hang out in here? All the little details. What was I doing? I need punch cards here. I feel like I should grab a few. There's two here, actually. All right. There's also someone else to talk to, but it might just be a vendor. Who might you be, kind sir? Where? That's an elevator. Where does it go? Down? Probably down. Oh. Actually, doesn't say. Hold on. Where is he? Oh, engineer. 
What's up, engineer? Hey, you. Nice glasses. I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer, and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first night on the job. Ah, still, you've probably seen a lot already. Yeah, it's true. Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. <laughs> how did things get so bad? It's always been like keeping this. an archive of These what we did in the past was hard. Been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents, the city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. Well, that's not what you want, an engineer. Guys that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They pressed buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse or they might do nothing at all nothing like at all trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. sounds like you need better training I'm the last real engineer the only scientist among them all so how am i supposed to help well if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red come tell me okay oh. sure what does that mean though uh probably nothing but if you see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green or orange. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? If they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. What? The fuck? Well, there's also green and yellow. Purple. Why did all those colors come up, too? If it's just... No, just look for... Tell me about blue and red. That, that didn't come up as a mission, so I guess I'll just random dialogue. Or maybe it was supposed to be a mission that they can never work out or something. I don't know. They decided to leave him in because they thought it was funny enough. Let me go ahead and quickly pick up these, um, uh, merchant. Let me go ahead and pick up these, um, uh, punch cards while I'm here. I wish there was a super sprint button, but I guess this is the sprint speed. We're up to 12 punch cards. You know what? You know what I want to know is figure out where my apartment is. It's like, if I can buy upgrades for it, can I make waypoints on this map? Now that I think about it, no. Hmm, that's a bit of an oversight. Still really liking the game though. You know, that is one tiny little ease of access thing I would like to be able to do. But I guess the game is simple enough to where you don't really need all of that because like you can just the map's pretty simple looking it's got like mini waypoints let's see auto cash terminal vendor restaurant dealer merchant lift gas station repair loot parking lot item loot is different lift I guess I don't live here I also wish it told you what section of the world you're in while you're here. Because those both go to Midtown. And right now we're in... Uh, something Heights, right? Something like that? No. Yeah, we're in Avalon Heights. That's the name of this place. Diamond Hills and all that's part of this. Oh, oh hey, alright, hold on. Let's go tell the phone canary. Oh, we're getting called by control. Hey kid, the uh, weirdest job came up. 
Well, there's not much pay in it, though. I could do weird, as long as it's not some other rich asshole. <laughs> Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starving. They need emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far, all the way out of novellas. What? Really? Oh. Yeah, in a, a technical sense, at least. The vent Outside warp sec. Hold on, let the game load. All right, we're going. With, we're driving. Inside Corpsec jurisdiction and just outside the Navala city limits. They're below the city, actually, uh, in the maintenance frame that supports the infrastructure. And people live there? If you call it a living. They eat mold and uh, algae that grows on the steam vents. But they're free. Okay, it's so my home's here. For freedom, kid. I'll do it. My home's in the Midtown. HQ, and I'll send you a nav point Gotta remember that. Vents. I'll make that delivery, sure. You know what I'm thinking? I'm gonna tell the dude about the Falconer. Go pick up that food, drop it off, and even if I get another mission while I'm done, as soon as I'm done with that mission, I think I'm gonna go visit my apartment for a second, see if I can get some upgrades to that place. I'm curious. If it's too expensive and weird, I'll maybe I'll focus on upgrading the car again. Because I think that another upgrade unlocked. I haven't gone back and checked. To go tell Falcon Boy the truth. Do some skipping. With the booster, this makes the thing even more rad. We're just like flipping and flopping it. Oh, uh, we gotta go to Old Town for the Falconer. At least they've got their music back, finally. Oh, sorry. Damn, traffic is up right now. Ooh, I thought I had clearance. Let's get lower. Not there. Whoa. I almost just flew into a ceiling. Falconer boy, I'm here. Oh, that's to the lift. He's on this level, okay. What's up, merchant? <laughs> Faster, smarter, stronger. You're not Falconer. The hell? Oh, he's gotta be below then. Oh, hey, why can they push me? Oh, he was below. That's what the, I thought that was a lift marker. Never mind. The purple dilly dallies are lifts. The arrows are where it is compared to you. Oh, 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 oh. You guys getting on? No, I'm just gonna look at it. You guys come to look at the elevator every now and then. See you later. Bye. Nice. Down here in the juicy bits. Oh, 
falcon. What's up? Where's your falcon, falcon? Hey, I saw your bird. I mean your falcon, Norman. What happened? We had a disagreement. So you let him go? Let is not the word I would use. So Norman escaped? He clawed my eye. If I catch him, I will skin him. You have to be careful with wild animals. I told you, he is not a wild animal. Where did you see him? The slums. Deep in the slums. You know the part that smells like sulfur? In the low levels? Yes. Well, lower than that. Right. Time to teach that bird a lesson. Why'd you tell him... Why'd you go to him and tell him the wrong direction? Like, if you were gonna... If you didn't want him to have that falcon because you didn't like him... I'm gonna talk to Trace with the Trey Pie Seller again. Why, why'd you even bother go to tell him you saw him? If you didn't want him to find him. Change your mind, did you? I knew you'd come back. Yes. Six bucks? I'll take four of them, strangely I'll enough. probably be back. Much better than you thought, right? Ronnie's cheat day started yesterday. Oops, lift. Excuse me, sorry. Who's, who's always lighting these barrels on fire? You ever think about that? Can people live and thrive in this city without starting fires? That's the real question. Alright, I lied to the falconer. He's going into the deep end now. Let's go. We have food delivery to make. Woo! What did I hit? Did I really get that low that I hit the bottom? I did. Let's get a little bit higher then. My car is wider than I thought. Caldon. Or is it Celadon? Caladon. Let's stay on the highway for this one. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. There you go. That was a nice turn. Uh oh. Midtown. Going back. Oop. I'm gonna have to repair my car soon. Vehicle upgraded unlocked. Plastic steel bumpers. Find a garage to repair Jehovah. Ah, uh, I've did more too much damage. Hey, driver 14 FC, you can't be bumping that hover around the city like that. You're gonna have to hit a repair station. If the damage gets worse, I can't get you out of the standard cloud punk hover damage penalty fine. Alright, 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 we'll get it repaired. First let me get some gas. I have been flying a little fast and loose, low to the ground like that. Or low to the highway. Get a full tank though. Alright, there should be a repair station in Midtown, easily. Yeah, there's one right down the road. Alright, come on. Maybe drive more carefully. Boost! <laughs> Ooh. 
I don't want to get penalized. I'm on a fixed. I'm trying to get my income more stable right now. Damn. Rani likes to drive like she owns the place, though. Ooh. Didn't mean to dip down that much. Control yourself. Hi. Right. All right, armor upgrade. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll see. Pink tracer. Battle boosters. Low latency. This should help us weave through traffic. For 500, might as well. Yes, and I think I want that pink tracer. Pretty cool. Oh, I, I unlocked a neon tracer. 225. Neon is the standard. Oh, I, I, I just. That's what I had on it. That's the standard one. Was that. That cyan one that's kind of light in color. But we, I didn't know pink was gonna unlock for us. Look at that. Nice. Legit. Oh, we gotta turn around. Hey, 14FC, we did a status check on your vehicle performance and it's running clean as a spire sky. Look after your Hava, she'll look after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. We even got the bumper upgrade. And the pink slips. Woo! Nice. I'm liking it. I wish it was brighter, though. I wish it was like a neon pink. Or a hot pink. Oh, you know what? I think we're leaving. Oh. <sighs> Gotta be more careful. I did, just, I did just get the bumper upgrade, though, so... Maybe that light tap was just a warm-up. We're breaking her in. We're breaking in the new bumper. Yeah, those ascenders really change the speed in which you can go up and down. That's nice. It kind of flows well with the acceleration. The food rations. We are going away from the city? We don't like the city. Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It won't be like home? I don't think so. Is it dangerous? Well, let's hover out of We're this because it's not giving me my waypoint. We're starving, Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. There you go. Do you think this is nice food for the people? I think it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. I hope they like it. Me too, Camus. Maybe high highway is the way for me to go from now on. Looks like we have to take a detour through the city. Because going around using the highway is a little bit faster, but if I'm just going around the entire city, then what's the point? Oh, look at the design of this building. I like that. I like that roof. Nice curves. And the oriental thing going on. Oh, Chuba. Whoa! How about oh shoot no? So what's the lowest of the low? Is it the Marrows? Is it the wasteland underneath the city? Is it over here? Like there's a lot of places where they're like, hey man, that's low. That's low on the stack, but where on the stack is it compared to the other ones that are low? That's down there. You don't want to go there because it's messy and messed up. How high can I hover in this district? Is this the height limit? No, it's not. Let's go up. Well, we can almost clear those buildings over there. Oh, We're going to the marrow. It did say we'd be traveling far. And from here, we're going to the Neo Toran. With vents. 
Looks like it'll be might be a little bit faster to just take the highway this time. Get that little extra speed boost. Just having a good old night ride. The romantic city of Navaris. Navaris? This city. <laughs> All these signs are static green. Should I be concerned about that? Ooh. Another lonely part of the city. Oh, don't stop the music just because I'm down here. Is it supposed to be like... Is that supposed to be more immersive? Like, is the radio signal having trouble getting down here? They could have told me that. Ooh. What's all this then? Hold on. I'm gonna go in. What, is it, what does it do? Does it touch me? Oh, solid. Never mind. I hurt my hova. <laughs> Take care of your hova. Automatically hurting her. Imagine if you had to live down here. This is brutal. Guess it's got its own theme music down here, huh? Oh. Turn it around. Ooh. Why is it smoking? Well, I'll be right with you in here in a sec. I, my, I detect a collectible. Memory chip. Big one, too. But the size of a pizza. Retsu, what's up? You the delivery stooge? Yes. I'm from Cloudpunk. I have your packages. Those are no use to me. I can't deliver to the outposts anymore. None of our vehicles work. The fuel lines froze. You should keep your engine running. Did you get that, Camus? Yes. I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? I asked, didn't I? Whatever. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your city. It's not my city. Sure it is. You took this job because you were curious, right? The hell is this? Just be dick to a random delivery? Party, Safari. This is our life. I'm not even from the city. The Eastern Peninsula? How oh, dare you. Up until last week. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. Nivalis. My name's Retsu. Rania. Cora knows what you must think of the big stack. That's what we call the city down here. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to the bottom like barnacles. And you know what? What, Retsu? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. You've been here a while? It's not better down here. Yeah, I hate to break that I to you. It wasn't the first, though. Old Zig traveled out here over a hundred years ago. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone. And you had to be ready for the chills. So what was old Zeke's secret? Zeke realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the vents cycled cool. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. He figured out how to cross the steam planes with a suit made from old abandoned Hover's insulation layers. I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. And you took his place as the boss? I'm the community leader, sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. The elders living beyond the Far Rim say they knew Zeke's grandkids. Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk that wanted to live off the grid. Away from corp security and the lights and the headaches. 
Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. Mm, you will. Everyone gets them eventually. Doesn't the air smell cleaner down here? Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. Well, that <laughs> is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vents cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. Or at least they used to. It seems like all the maintenance systems are going mad recently. Cool. We have a saying here, quarter provides. Well, right now all quarter is providing is a new ice age. What do you think Cora is? Cora is everything, and all of us. Cora is the provider, and the caretaker, and the disciplinarian. Cora think so. holds out a closed fist, and we must push out our chin. You see what those fires Sometimes are? Watch guys build things closer to those. Food. Sometimes the fist strikes us, and yet we must endure. So Cora is your... Salvation, and right now, Cora has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. Be independent. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the corpse. You said you cling like a... what did you call it? A barnacle? Hmm. Harsh and fair words, Rania. I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? Who knows? So, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. We really are starving. Three families. I can give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get going then. I'll see you on the way back. Cora willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Rania. They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile. Temporary. How do you... What does that mean? I get the fragile part, but what do you mean temporary? Like, do your, do your friends die often? And then how do they become and stay your friends if they're always b busy dying? That's a weird analogy, dude. They're like ice sculptures. Fragile and temporary. <laughs> they exist sometimes. Other times they're gone, though. How do you have trouble? Like, yeah, upstairs is better. I don't care what you say. There's rain and there's food and there's warm. There's also the cool rain. You guys are moisture farmers. Don't you work for the city technically? Who are you farming the moisture for? Not to be, not to sell the water. What about this home? Huh? How could you sleep out here if it's so cold? This doesn't look warm at all. Why don't you be inside the buildings? I was sent to deliver supplies. Sent by who? Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. You need this. It's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said... Retsu sent you? Yes, he said you should take this. What do you say? Give it here. They don't trust us very much. I bet they have their reasons, Because they're bitches, Camus. all right? Camus, let's face facts. They're bitches. If you don't want visitors, blow up the parking area. How about that? You don't have a working hova, so I, if you don't want to leave and you don't need food, blow this up. Cut off communications with everyone. Right? If you want to be a dick and you want to be left alone, then you could actually put effort into it instead of just standing around waiting to yell at people who show up. Alright, ass clown. These moisture farmers are dicks, alright? don't understand. It's because they chose to live down here rent-free and then gather water that they hate Big Corpo. What? <laughs> Did Corpo 
gentrify them because then that'd be different. Someone like bought all their homes and forced them to live down here because they wouldn't give them another home. That'd be different. Hold on, I'm gonna get, get the collectible first before you start insulting me with your weird beratements. All right, I'm gonna need to sell some of these. I brought you supplies. Who sent you? Why are you exactly Let's the same see. as the other guy? Well, okay then. I ain't seen no one from the stacks down here in years, decades even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token or something like that. Uh, thanks. It, paper it's card. just five numbers on a bit of paper. That's right. Thank you kindly for the supplies. Now we even. Well, oh. thank you kindly. Did you just give me like an old bank account? Money tokens that I can use upstairs for real things? At least he was nice. He paid me fairly. Fairly. I hope so, anyway. Let's find out. Got a map for this place? Oh, no. It just shows the bits and bops. We still have to, like, navigate the superstructures. No, it's not too difficult. Just a loop to loop. Oops. Missed it. Treasures. Give me treasures. And sell these for money and buy more noodles. Let me guess. Gas mask and a bassy voice? Hello, I'm here too. They already called me on the old GB radio and told me you were on your way. You're the tongue of the town, lady. I'm just a delivery driver. Well, I don't know if anybody has said this to you before, but I'll say it now. Thank you. Uh, oh, now they're more appreciative. I mean, you're welcome. I'd get back to the city as quick as possible, lady. There's a chill coming. I can feel it in my bones. Anyone outside is gonna get charted. Go, quickly. And don't think twice about coming back here, you hear? Okay, good luck. Nice. Good advice. So, interesting new area. Is it just for this mission, though? Interesting. Parking sensors dysfunction. Okay. Too cold. We gotta go. Although they want, uh, he wanted me to go back to him to talk to him before I leave, though. So I guess I have to do that. I wonder if this game progresses like in the areas too. Like if you end up like helping the AI start to fix the city, if this area becomes more vibrant and warm, that'd be kind of cool. Get like some progression. Oh, I can what? see Retsu. Why is he not moving? Oh no, Camus, find us somewhere to park. The security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to land now. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then you'd be stuck, like what? the man. He's not stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, Camus. He's dead. Aw. What? Fragile and temporary. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do. Why didn't he go back inside? Why didn't he get to that fire over there? What the hell was this death for? His house is right there. What the? Why did he get out and walk over here? I am getting a message request. Why are you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. The message is addressed to the Hova. So it's someone I don't know. Patch it through, I guess. My ship had finally come in, but in this case, the ship was a battered Hova. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? The dame wanted a name. What did I have left to lose? <laughs> and nothing but my Who the hat. hell is Huxley and what? What's Huxley. with the noir talk, Huxley? And why it's like, why is it coming out sort of like fourth person -y? As if I'm hearing your inner thoughts. I uh, left off the private investigator. She'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so you're a private investigator and your name is Huxley. The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting <laughs> words before she left me and moved back in with her mother. <laughs> She'd begged me as a PI, but I uh, New favorite character. Help. 
Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold <laughs> I was getting a frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. The dame sounded hot as ice, but Pasta's story was so sad it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? Because he's awesome. I might actually help him <laughs> if he wasn't so annoying. I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my... I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Pasta was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, God knows what would be left. Dead corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? I have located his signal. I have huh. a nav point. We could pick him up. Should I display the nav point? Hey, Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a dead corp? Yes, is what I wanted to say. But the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned PI android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker. The story was true. Fine. Camus, give me an F point. We'll take him with us and drop him off on the way. I think I forgot. Just, I figured out how to drift. <laughs> Huxley's my new favorite character, right? I hope he never stops talking like that. Hope they give him a medal. Being the best PI there ever was in this damn city. I also love how me and Rennie are in two completely different wavelengths most of the time. Every single time I'm like, awesome, I'm like, rad, she's like, annoying, maggot pizza. <laughs> I'm like, come on. This is probably how she built, built up all those depths <laughs> that she had to run away from. Oh, what? Wait a minute. What if... Let's try that card out, right? How much money did that dude tip me with this thing before that the crazy old dude died in the ice? I see 652. If I should have read that out loud, someone could hear me and write it down. Can I deposit money? What's that? Is that just the end? Or run? Can I just take it all out, I guess? That's actually a great tip. Look at that. Wow. Nice tip, dude. Oh, you know what? Punch card. I want to help out all the androids. Maybe that'll win me the favor of the, uh, my AI. Except for that rude, rich AI. He can get smelted. What's this? An old game? Oh, we can give it to that lady. Oh no, I think it's just to be sold, or is it like collectible? I think we can only sell it? Because I'm not sure if she's gonna pop back up on the map. It might be Patchwork. Interesting name. Hold on. Let's go pick up Huxley first. I hope Huxley is an AI, and then later on I get to keep him, and I can make him my car AI. <laughs> That'd be amazing. After I get my dog a body. Now we gotta go up. Aww. 
he's an android who's real. Are you Huxley? The dame really Whoa, what forward. happened there? You notice a big chunk of the city just broke and fell into the ocean? Why do you talk like that? Who was this bum that was questioning me? Another tin can with an attitude and too many questions. I gave him the brush off. Hey, don't talk to him like that or I'll drop you in the hollows. The dame had a point. I'd better play nice for now. I'd slip her some bills when she took me to the holocash machine. A handful of limbs should help dip this sour lemon in a little sugar. Can you understand what he is saying? <laughs> yes. About 40% of it. The dame and the car were close. Any fool could see that. But I, I looked beyond the surface. She was a girl from out of town. Still as green as the water supplies down in the vents. You said you're a private investigator. Do you really think that's how they talk? She had an attitude, but I liked her. And a dog, too. How did he know I was... am... Um, your dog? I guess that's what investigators do, right? There was a holocash machine up ahead, but I had to keep a real low profile. I'd give the dame my number and let her grab the cash for me. And that number would be? I gave her the digits. Five, four, two, four, four. She was a smart cookie. She'd remember them. All right, any hollow cash machine? Hmm. I don't know where we're gonna go after this, so I'm gonna go for the one up here because it's closer to an exit. Alright, so the drift, I've basically just been using the, um, uh, a lateral movement. With my turn. That's how you get that nice, yeah, and that helped me cut those corners better, too. When I was down there on the highway. I'm loving it. The game's changing me as I learn it. Oh, everyone's got all the good spots. Collectible. Gimme. Wait, this is the lady who wanted um uh, the games, right? Yeah, Trixie Dio. Right? Or you're just the influencer who likes food. Hold on. Yeah, you're not the one. But she is around here. I think Game Lady is around this one, right? Hold on, let me grab this. It's a punch card. There's another one. Way over there on the other side. Is that upstairs? No, it's down here somewhere. I'll get that one. Yeah, I'll get it right now, because I'll probably forget later. I wonder if there's actually a total of 20 in the city, or that's just how many I need to complete the mission. I can still pick them up afterwards. Or if they all disappear. Because it feels like there's way more than 20. And granted, they show up on my map, so I don't have to really, like, look for them. Oh, that one is up. That one is up there. How do I get up there? Oh, there's a lift over there. Yeah, living in a city like this would be awesome, in my opinion. As long as you were, you know, comfortable, had a job. Oh, you know what? The cash machine's upstairs too. Kind of have to go up there. Why is Jazz banned? Five, four, two, four, four. Oh, man, he's giving me a hefty amount of money. I'm starting to make bank now. Take it all. I settled the bill. Surely the dame would drop me like a bad penny now. This is a lot of money. I can drop you somewhere else if you like. Why are we helping him more? He's kind of growing on me. <laughs> the dame had a heart of gold. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I tell her about Pashta. 
Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. I do not like this. Where is this office of yours, Huxley? We were headed towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pasha. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pasha, anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. <laughs> it all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar downtown, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter, too. He had a record, so Corpsec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best, cheapest P.I. So, the debt corpse can abduct children now? The Dane didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corpse had hearts blacker than my morning cup of joe. Wow. Huxley, were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The Dane thought I had a screw loose. I guess her instincts were good. Truth was, there was a time when I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now, I'd played a role so well, I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my accounting. Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been. Only 32. For some reason, him talking like that as an AI, he got messed up, but now he's a better investigator for it, so... Hey, call it what you will. Good old town. Yeah, lay those tunes on me. Wish there was a setting that to me. I wish I could alter the setting to where it never stops the tunes, except for maybe during important dialogue. I understand the other areas have like ambient sounds, like when we went to that the uh, the, the the under the tunnels down there that was frozen. And that's fine. Driving around tunes keep me going. Give me juice. Woo! Oops, sorry. <laughs> Cut it a little tight there. Your office is all boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. I was fired, but that place was where I slept. So I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction was the illness. But what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. There's a note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Who knew how hot this place was? I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. I think you're being overdramatic. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? I'll take my chances. Oops. I want to see what this note says. That point was off a bit. Somehow I knew to come to this one and take it. What's the note say? Okay, I can see the note. It says, go to the blue chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. Well, if they have We're permit for that jazz. That too, are we? I, I couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck a neck out for me. We can drop him off at the bar. It's close by. Hey, he tipped me like 1,500 bucks and then 16 on top of that. I'll drive him around all night if he wanted me to. That's more than I've made in my delivery. That's worth like, well, like that's, this is the biggest tip I've gotten so far other than the 600 I got from the Undercroft people. Frozen dudes. My deliveries were ranging from 100 to 150 bucks. Like I literally just made more than a night's worth of money so far. Usually I only got like, what, three deliveries a night. I'll take this guy to the end of the world. Hold on, I'm gonna quickly grab these things over here. As you saw, we need the electronic components to repair that elevator. Sometimes selling all the electronic components and the coolant isn't the only play to make. It would be a real trip if, like, <laughs> halfway through the story, all of a sudden a shooting element get, comes into play, like all of a sudden gameplay changes. All of a sudden they give me a gun and I have to defend myself from corpse set guards or something. That'd be... I don't think the game's gonna do that, but I just, that popped in my head. I was like, damn, that'd be... That would change the tempo so much, it'd be awesome. 
All of a sudden, you go from helpless dame to shooty bang bang lady. Soon, we'd be at the Blue Chewy Jazz Bar. It was a dive, but it was the kind of place you'd go for answers. Who had left me that note? Who was the smoking man? And where would I? We have an incoming call. Control? Uh -huh. No. It is for Huxley. I knew who was calling. This would be bad. Put it through, I guess. <laughs> what in Cora's name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He paid good money, but I'd been stuck down in the hollows following a lead. Oh, I got that guy cut at the perfect time this time. Won't get that weird audio fix. Or like that, uh, it being lower than hiring back up. The lead went cold, and I was trapped down there with no comm signal and no cash. You wasted my money and my time. If you don't find my daughter, I'm infecting you with a logic virus. I have hacker friends. Hey, what the hell? I don't know who you are, but you better leave this idiot to do his job. I was going to save that girl, but not because of the threats. Truth was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. But what I won't stand for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. What a dick. I hope the dame would come with me. Was that too much to ask? Uh, yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if Control calls with another job at any point, you're on your own, Huxley. The offer was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. No, he's actually don't following use me. Dice in roulette. I know, Camus. Just let it go. <laughs> I've seen eight. Nice. What are the odds of that? I want to go with Huxley. I'm hoping that no one calls me and takes me away from him. I want to know. Smoking Jojo. Huxley, come on. We're forming a party. Point. It's going to turn into an RPG. There's going to be turn-based combat. I'm about to get a sword. Come on. Surprise me. Took you long enough. <coughs> are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The, the drive. An attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call him Smoking Jojo because he was cute. His circuit <laughs> boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burnt out, overheating and underperforming. He didn't like the dame, but he knew me. We went way back, but Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than... My name is Ren. <laughs> I picked him up in the hollows, and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <clears throat> but as you can see, I ain't got long left. You can fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get help? Repairs? <laughs> nah, they don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <laughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is, if I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say, but how did he know I was looking for pasta? You've been asking around now. Word gets out. I was playing a private gig a few months back. The pay was real good, and I'm still the best horn player in town. Even if I don't look too good these days, what with all the rust and all. While I was there, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex-corp goon called Raguan was there, talking about how he got screwed over. And? Look. I don't like squidding like this. <laughs> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, <laughs> but would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting sucked into this. <laughs> so what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Loving well, this. This Raguan guy's drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. Near enough getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. Ma'am, please, we're having a private conversation. In the middle of mouthing off, Raguan says he's dangerous. 
and he can make people disappear. Ooh. He says he's not to be messed with, because the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he says the name. I was the only one that heard him. But he takes a drink, and through his tears, he keeps saying, sorry, Pasta, sorry. <coughs> now, ain't that a thing? Mm. That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. Oh, come on, you gotta go with Huxley. Oh man, if they made a sequel to this game where instead of a delivery driver, you're a private investigator, that'd be sweet. Got a partner. What if it's Connor from Cyberdyne? More <laughs> bare chest man book. Why is he still here? We're just taking him to one Why do you dislike place? him so much? Why? The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Camus, we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. Well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Marrow Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Ragwan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing Corpsec without the proper clearance Oops. from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Raguan in the Holovids? Yes. He looked... sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching. There is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would oh, stay. I just realized Let's assume that. the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us an F point. Look at that. That's so awesome. When you're right above something, you're about to hit something right below you, it turns on an under camera. You see that? Do I get a rear camera too? Oop, nope, no I don't. It keeps you busy? No, not at all. Completely free. I am busy. Good. I, uh, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You know what, Control? Can I get back to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. Alright, kid. Uh, Alright. Uh, I have a job soon enough. No rush control. Chat soon. I started to feel like I was holding the dame back. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's just see what we can find at Raguan's apartment. Hey, control just wanted to talk. I guess we could have said that we were busy. I mean, the Huxley are on an adventure. I think I want to know what happened to Pasta and why her name was so closely related to Pasta. Let's go. We're rocking this town. My dog, me. The Hux, the Hux man himself. Ooh, I just ran right into that. <laughs> and I knocked into that too. Aha! Uh -huh. What do we have here? Oh, I can't squeeze through there. I was hoping to make a dramatic entrance, but instead I came off like a clumsy goober. There we go. Where's the parking lot to this place?
Okay, guys, we're here. I'm just looking for parking. Oh, it's over there. Way over there. We're in for some walking, it looks like. Spaces are taken up. There you go. That's cool. <laughs> this is kind of far. Are you sure this is even on the same sector? Oh yeah, it is. City was dark and grimier than usual. I don't like the way it made me feel. Had a weird spark in my tuchus. Oh, sorry, lady. Didn't mean to walk through you like you were a ghost person. Ooh, punch card. Ooh, I think I got enough punch cards for Evelyn as well. Wait, where does this go? On the other side, alright. Cool. We're good then. This was the place for sure. I was on my way. Wait, do you want me to... I couldn't ask the dame to do any more. She was a class act. A dime store performer in a city of nickels. A diamond in a waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame flashed me a smile brighter than the sun. <laughs> Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. Camus, wish him luck. <laughs> good luck, I guess. Be careful, Huxley. I hope you save Pashta. The dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. <laughs> Weird but interesting. Oh, could I have walked here? Yeah, I could have. It, it wraps around. Oh, oh, wait, this is a different area altogether. What's that red thing? You see that? Oh, it's a broken elevator they can fix. We don't need to do that yet. This episode I ran on long. Or is running long. I'm running, running near the end and I wanted to stop by my apartment. Will he be okay? I don't know, Camus. I have an additional question. Go ahead. What is a Girl Scout? What is a dime? What is a nickel? Should I search for them? No, it's time to move on, Camus. You can't tell them who a Girl Scout, Scout is? <laughs> no, wait, you guys don't use... Oh, yeah, you guys use limbs as money. Let's control. Hey, kid. Um, you free now? Finished your coffee? My sure thing, Control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower, labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? <laughs> don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out. Anderson, Anderson, and Anderson, huh? Hold on, I want to visit my home real quick and probably do an outro. My home is here, yeah? No, that's control. Shit, hold on, I think it's the, it is in the same spot. I live right next to where I work. Who's that gas mask guy? Well, at least when we start the next mission, I'll already be really close.
Actually, no, 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 that's Evelyn. That's not the mission, yeah. I don't live right next to where I work. But what's with this music? It's got a little bit of a mysterious feel to it. Fly through the building. Hmm. Looks like there's lower level parking here. That put me further away from home, though, I think. Oh, hold on. Let's go down. Back it up. Back it up. Ah. Look, for me, there's a free spot right there. I don't know why I like this. My new way of parking. Might as well give Evelyn her cards. And then check out the apartment. Damn, this music's intense, though. Feels like I'm about to solve an X-Files mystery. I have more of the punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizich was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Thank you. This is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizich knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with a standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium, from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. They can't store whole memories, then? No, but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have, though it will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizich locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. I need more time. And more punch cards. Please bring me any you find. Oh, she wants more. 20. She wants 20 more. So how many I had? Did I gather 21 of them? I guess I did. Oops. Sorry. How do I inventory again? There it is. Hmm, I guess she took them all. I wonder what the ocarina and the CD do. Well, I got one punch card left. That's probably the 21 that she has right there. The apartment. What do we do here other than just hang out? You know, gotta be something. You know, it'd be awesome if they did like mini games. They could have like arcade machines that you could buy for your house or something. Pizza subscription. Get a random pizza daily for one month. Why is it so expensive? Ova model? Yes. Fridge. Old pizza, ice cream. Kombucha, fresh butter. Just think of all the things I can't afford to put in here. <laughs> Decent upgrades. Let's see. For no reason. You know what? I'll take the Hova model. The plant. Aww. The pizza. Oh, cool. Oh, the fish tank. That's got to be awesome. And ah. the fish tank. Damn, this is getting kind of expensive. All right, I'm gonna okay. do the mirror next. I want to get that next. It's kind of kind of expensive. I don't I guess I don't need the lamp or the thingy. Look at that. Cool. That's my old hobo. Before it got stolen. Oh, I can't see myself in the mirror. What was the point? Why'd you lie to me, game? Can I just eat this? Yes. Oh, that's better. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. Let me guess that's pineapple on it. I see yellow on there. What is that? Let me is that spinach chicken and pineapple pizza? That's not bad. That's not bad in my opinion. I'll accept it. Look at the fish tank. Look. A 
Love it. I love it. Look at them. Can I feed them? Is that an upgrade later? I can sprinkle some sprinkles in there. Who do I get stuff out here? Can I get bigger plants and more lights out here? Can I put a chair out here and sit down and look at stuff? It's feeling a little bit more like home now that I have my plant. Once I can get Camus's own body and put him in here. One for the road. Oh, that's better. Alright, you know what? I'm really loving this game. I'm having a lot of fun. But I think we're gonna do a little cut right here. Thank you all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that like button both hands if you have to, and I will see you all in the next one. Try and take it easy. Towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pasha. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pasha anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. <laughs> it all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar downtown, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter too. He had a record, so Corpsec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best, cheapest P.I.